a twist. The album was supposed to be his, however, it came out that it was Daddy Lumbers. He was surprised when he saw it. He granted an interview on a different platform. We spoke about it here. He called us and he said, no, that's not the truth. And so he wants to clear the air. And he's here with us. Opori. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. How Thank are you, you today? I'm, I'm very, very... Should I perfect. call you Prophet Oforiam Prophet. Ponsa? Yeah, just say Brother Oforiam Ponsa. Brother. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> brother Oforiam yeah. Ponsa. Mm. Yeah. Actually, I came here to fight. <laughs> I was saying, I was saying when, that. When I, when I saw her face to face, I was like, you know, let, 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 let me shut them. Let me put them there, go somewhere. <laughs> But that's the beauty of this yes. industry, yeah. anyway. Yeah. So yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm thinking that most times when we tempest go up like this, right. it's for us to just get to the bottom of the issue. You know, I like I, I wanted like to this. just like clear the air. Yeah, you know, um, that that uh, album um, was so for him, Ponsa, and um, that we, it was a collaboration though, and that Luma was producing me. He was the producer, executive producer of the, the album. Um, we recorded the first, like the first album, like back in 1993, but unfortunately, um, it couldn't come out. So that was where I, I, I went to church and stuff, and I became born again. I, I went to um, church, and I still love God. I just hold on to it that if it wasn't that period in my life where I went to church, I wouldn't be over the ampers today. Mm. Yeah. That was the year 1993. 94. Yeah, 94 was when I. I just forgot. Um, you know, something came up. And that Luma said he will not produce the songs again. Mm. So I had to find my way, you know. Oh, okay. And so after running around small, some people just said, Charlie, if you don't go to God for this one, you know. So that, that, that's how I, I went to church. And, you know, I actually was so much involved in church. I didn't know I would become a friend. I, I just forgot. In 90, 94, 95. Yeah, 94. 90, 94 was... Uh, when I when I first went to Abekan Pentecost, but I I later went to Tesano Baptist. Tesano Baptist was where I was. I was a worship leader there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah before I became a prayer master. So, my songs, um, I started way back in school. I recorded the first, um, my this whole album in 1992. Mm. On your own? On my own. <clears throat> I um, copyrighted it in 93. That was the, the year I, I saw that number and we recorded the song. But unfortunately, we, it couldn't come that year. It took another six years. Hmm. And that's it, a lot. Yeah, that's, that's, it took yeah, another yeah, six years. And I think I, I thank God for that period because, you know, I was kind of young. I was like 19 around that time. So uh, maybe if I had come out that time, I don't know how yeah, the no, would end up yeah, because that Charlie. Be a different story. And, and, and every time I tell people, Charlie, if I didn't go to cocaine. I didn't do stuff. And I said, I'm going, Charlie, I'm, I didn't run to God. What is the problem with it? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because life without God is empty. Let me, let me be frank with you. Whatever we are doing now, it is the grace of God that we, we, we are doing. The songs, some of the songs, sometimes it just come to you like that. You do word, word for word. Mm. You know? And I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a gift. Ovary, let me ask you this. Yeah. You met Daddy Lumba in 1993, you yeah. said. Uh, you were supposed to release an album, but he said he wasn't going to produce you again. What happened yeah. that made yeah. him decide I think, not I to I think there was, there was um, a problem with um, one of his artists, you know, and I think they were worrying. It's not easy because I have also gone through that. So, yeah. so uh, that, that was uh, the reason why he... But how he, did you meet Daddy Lumba? I, I was walking around. I, I, I just did my demo and I wanted help. You know, from from this place, uh, car price to domain and stuff. Every day, I'll, I'll just like take you know walk on. That's trip. a distance, so uh, <laughs> for me, yeah, it, it was okay. <laughs> it was a normal walk. My my, my 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 joy was just like sending my songs around from producer to producer, but I couldn't find help. You know, so one day I was in, around um, Abekana Pass, trying. I saw anytime I see um, uh, a signboard, music house or whatever, I just okay. like enter and just to look for it. And so. The guy listened to the songs, Odom Refi and Tiata, and he was like, you did this song? Mm. I said, yeah. I said, okay, then why not take it to that Lumba because he's helping people now. These songs are amazing. So, so I, 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 I took my, the last coins that I was holding, mm -hmm. uh, watched the way I said, okay, where, where does that Lumba live? And he said, around Domi. So I took, um, you know, a car, went to his house, 
that day he wasn't there. Mm. So the following day, the guy said I should come and you know find out if he, he he's interested in the song. And the very first time I went to him, I was like, this is the mighty king. Mm. Wow. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he is an amazing and a powerful musician. Mm. I think he is a prophet, but people don't actually know. He is. Mm. Okay. Of course. And so the very first time I see him, somebody's like, uh, he's uh, barbering him, he's cutting his hair. In his house. In his house. And he tells the person to stop and asks me, are you Freyam I said, yes. And he said, you are a star. Did you do this this, this song? I said, yes. Oh, then he had listened to the songs. Oh, of course, a, a night before. Okay. okay. And before I enter the house, there's this guy holding, a, right now I don't know where the guy is, holding uh, something. And, that look we are you know talking rubbish and I, I asked the guy well, why are you he said he will take your songs are you are you bringing your song to him you take it <laughs> <laughs> but i don't know where the guy is right yeah. now but this is over yeah. yeah you know so the very first time i went to him he just like gave me um an envelope of five thousand those times oh said, go and do more songs you are a star and that was 93. yes 93. But who gave him your song for him to listen to the day before I did. I, I was just like taking my songs around trying oh, to find him. But you said before you got there he had listened uh, to uh, The house boy. The, oh, the house, house boy, boy gave yeah, the house boy was there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so so I cannot forget I cannot forget uh, what um, that number did for me. The, the words that he spoke into my life. Mm. Mm. You know but the truth be said people don't actually know that the songs were actually for him. So six and, years down the line. Right. You met him again. Okay so six years down the line I just said to myself, 93, that Luma was not um, trying to, you know, come with me, like, help me. So I record the songs myself. Okay. So I went to uh, Despite Music. Like, that time he had a studio. Mm -hmm. That time, um, you know, there was this fine studio. So I recorded all the songs, Jane and Theata, trying to release it. A day before I released the songs, mm -hmm. that Luma also came from um, uh, Germany yeah. to the same studio. Hey. And then... You know, he was just coming from the airport and he passed by. And that's my songs were being played. Went. Okay. And he said, wow, I wanted to even meet, the, like, you know, for it's, it's a long time, I'll, I'll, I'll produce him again. So I came back to the, the studio the, the following day with that Lumba's voice on the music. Mm. So that's, that's what happened. Okay. Yeah. So now you featured him or he featured you? Uh, actually, I, 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 I featured him. So this is okay. more like you, fe you yeah. featured It was him. my album. Yeah. Okay. He had to put his music on it to push me the more. Okay. And because he's a bigger star and actually people that didn't know for example, somebody yeah. that time. So it was, it was almost like everything was... Yeah. Okay. So it was a help he was doing for he, he, you. He was producing as my album. As well. Yes. yes. Okay. So he wanted he to a, add his voice to To make it more power. To make it more yeah, powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. okay. So that's what happened. So that's what happened. So then you knew, you came, you heard the song. How mm -hmm. many songs did you have his voice on there? Um, I think we we, he, we had um, about three or four three. songs that he How many voice. songs were on the album? Nine. Nine. Yeah. And you had how many? Seven like, songs. Seven songs with only your voice. Yeah, so seven so almost only one. Yeah. No, I'm just I'm just clearing it. Mm -hmm. Nine songs on the album. Nine songs on How the album. How many did uh, Daddy Lumba feature on? Mm, about two or three. Yeah. Oh, let's roughly say three. Yeah. So he featured on three. Mm -hmm. So the other. The others are all my voices. All your voices. Yeah. All written by you. Of course. And the song that agree what was the agreement when he was. Okay, featured actually, the um, th this th there was. You know, there was a time between '93 and '99. So the agreement was like, uh, I will have um, 30%. I don't want to, you know, come out with this. But, so 30% 30, 30 of the whole, you know, share. Okay. But later when the songs started playing, he came out with another agreement that he wants the songs outright. Like, you know, sometimes producers come out with that. So actually... So it wasn't a written agreement? Or was it a there was. Agreement? There was an agreement, you know. Do the documented, documented one? Of course. That of course. said that you that have receive 30%, 30 of the whole thing. And that he received 70%. Of course. Okay, of course, as a producer. executive producer. Right. Yeah. So that was what happened. Actually, there were a lot of agreements, so I don't know, I, you know. So when did they change into him getting... It changed when the songs actually came. Okay. And when did you realize it had changed? Well, I, I just got the, um, the sleeves in um at despite's place like you know okay. and the whole thing was a mastermind by despite music i think that was the whole situation this, the situation was 
They went back to Germany, mm -hmm. listened to the songs, and that was when the change came in. So I, I came back to Ghana, and you know the sleeves were different. Right. So that was despite studio you recorded. Of course. He knowing um, that you've done the songs with um, that Lumba. You know, I did it even before that Lumba came. Before, like, okay. Know, yeah. So they yeah. traveled and they both made the decision that okay, this is how we wanted. Of course, that, that's like. that's 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 the story. I mean, to be frank with you, I I I, I sat down with that, um, despite and we talked about this before. And he knows the story, so right. I don't want to say Before we, we go into this, we'll definitely talk about the story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we will be on air to talk about it. The three songs that Dilumba featured on are? Um, you can find it on the album. You, you, oh, you, you don't really to remember. It. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's been long. I mean, I'll, I will try to find it. And, and I think Jane. And Jane, okay. Yeah, Jane. So that Dilumba was on these three. How did you realize that you were now a feature on an album that you had Rating an yeah. album that was yours, yeah. an album that there was an agreement that it was yours. How did right. you now realize that? Okay, I'm no more the owner of this album. It rather belongs to Daddy Lumba. No, um, as I said, I got that information when the songs were done. And I came back to Ghana, and then you saw it. Yeah, for the first time, I saw I saw the sleeves. Where I, did you see I it? I cried. I cried the whole day. Where did you see it? I saw it at Despite uh, Music. For the first time, you went yeah. into Despite's office and you saw it there. We 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 were, we were working together, mm -hmm. so like you know, there was meetups and there, stuff like there, that. We go to the studio, we go to mm -hmm. you know. So that's where I, I find out that you know my my head was just there. But I think I, it doesn't matter anymore to me. Mm -hmm. What matters most is you know songs are like children. You can't let, just let them go. It's your, it's your it's your soul. Why did you cry? I mean, a young man. I was, you know, um, coming up. I I felt I had recorded my first album, and it was coming out. I was, you know, I suffered for six years for that, and it comes out to show another another person's name instead of yours. Did you feel betrayed? I was embittered. Hmm. Yeah, but I had to let it go because, you know, sometimes failures also, you know gets you to the next level. I think that pain translated into my songwriting. I felt like, oh, Charlie, if I did an theater, then I can do more. So that's what happened. I, and I never, I, I have never talked about this. But did you, you then know. wish uh, the gentleman you met at Daddy Lumba's house, you had listened to him? I think he's lost. <laughs> <laughs> because Sometimes. he told you that Daddy Lumba will take you mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that, that's why he's You never took him serious never because maybe at the time, did no, you? No, I mean, that's so, that's so, I, I think it was an opportunity for me. I had tried my best to get a producer. Mm. And so even if somebody gives me just a piece of song that time, I would take it, mm. Mm. you know. So uh, it's, it's, it's all good. But the only thing is maybe right now, I'll just like, you know, um, remix the songs, mm. you know. If, if he's, I don't know if he'll be ready, <laughs> if he's not. I, I, so, do you so want to the, do the it with him again? <laughs> Oh, well, it, it would be great. It would be great. Okay, Kirby, sorry. You're gonna no, I wanted to find out that. So, <laughs> right now, where we are, right. the main problem is not you getting help from that number or that number singing on the song or anything like that. Mm. The problem is that the, the album that was supposed to be for you was yeah. given to that number. Now, if you go on, if you go on the internet and mm. you type, mm. um, that number is credited mm -hmm. to the album more than you are credited to the yeah, album. Yeah, right, right. You, you get it. Right. And so how do you correct some of these things? Is it by just remixing the songs and then now making I think, it? I think, I think that would be the, the, the next thing to do. I, but I just want to just bring the songs. It, it brings back memories, you know, my suffering, what I went through. And anytime I hear this, the song, I'm sad. You know, it, it Which of like, them? Which one in particular? And like Jane, Odom Refi, Antiata, you know. Those uh, are my, do we have any out there, a producer, do we have any we can play? Which of them, <laughs> which of the three do you have available that we can play?